Hey, my name's June. I shoot photography for fun. I've been adjusting my Lightroom workflow to better incorporate the iPad Pro and wanted to share how I've been making it work. I've watched a few videos on this topic and couldn't really find a definitive answer because it varied so widely based on the photographer's needs. So let's quickly cover my specific use case. The specific reason I want to use an iPad Pro or incorporate one into my workflow is for that extra bit of portability it provides it's a lot more versatile in terms of the environments that you can edit in given the nature that it is just a screen that you have to hold i'm intrigued by the editing experience that you can get with just your finger or with a stylus and with the latest ipad pro in particular so i have the 13 inch m4 base model i'm of the understanding that it provides a much more color accurate display and therefore more accurate images so those are kind of the main things that i'm looking for or why i'm interested in using the ipad pro in terms of workflow though i'm not looking to replace my photo editing on the desktop. I'm not trying to solely edit on the iPad Pro. File management, for example, is something that I completely intend to keep on the desktop. The ideal workflow that I had imagined was to start the editing on the desktop and to be able to then continue it on the iPad and then come back to the desktop to make some finishing touches. That is what I'm striving for and that is what I think I have achieved. So quickly breaking down the tools or the software that I'm using and their intended function. On the desktop, I'm going to be using Lightroom Classic and of course Finder. All the file management will be done on the desktop. Probably also going to be doing some quick culling, maybe some editing here and there, and then the final export. And on the iPad, and by extension sometimes my iPhone, I'll be using Lightroom CC or Lightroom Mobile. Not entirely sure what the final name is. I'm sometimes going to be culling here. So again, I want a hybrid workflow that's flexible. So if I can call on the desktop first and then maybe call even further on the iPad as necessary, that'll be ideal. But the main bulk of editing will be done on the iPad. So really it's just two softwares that I'm using. I'm using Lightroom Classic on the desktop and then Lightroom, I think CC or Lightroom Mobile on the iPad. So fairly straightforward workflow is just starting the desktop, move to the iPad, go back to the desktop and that's it. I've seen a lot where the file management they're trying to do within the iPad and it just made it so really convoluted. I like this workflow because it's very simple. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step step exactly what I do now. I suppose I should preface that. I don't know if this is the best way to do it, but this has been working for me. Just wanna share it. So if you have some thoughts or input or suggestions on how to improve this, please let me know. Let's start with preferences. So within the Lightroom Sync tab of preferences, I do have checked off prevent system sleep during sync. This is gonna be important. I do have these two checked off, but as far as I'm aware, I don't actually use the Lightroom CC folder that it creates. We'll get a little bit more into that, but I don't think it really matters what you do here. There are two places within Lightroom Classic that I'm gonna highlight. First is folders, second is collections. So let's start. Step one is import your photos into Lightroom Classic. So I am importing a new folder with all the files. So I do all my file management already in terms of the parent folder and then my raw file. So you can kind of see the basic folder structure here. I go by year, month, date, and then this is a specific long-term folder project that I'm doing. So the title there and then the raw files are here and we can see fetching initial previews, let that import. And then I'm just gonna click on show in finder here just to demonstrate where this is. So this is on my local hard drive. This is the original file, the raw file. And it's important because I'm gonna compare it to when we create the synced version and then see what the file path is like there. So here we have 183 photos. Typically at this stage, I would go through and start rejecting or passing or do like a star system just to get that initial call in. Now this is 183 photos. So I'm gonna demonstrate it with a folder that I've already called. So this is the folder I'm gonna sync with Lightroom now. What I like to do just in case I don't think it actually does anything, but I try to name the folder the exact same. I hop down into collections, click into from Lightroom, create a new collection. I think the corresponding name within the app is an album, but we'll take a look at that when we're in the iPad. Check off inside a collection set, so within the Lightroom one, and then clicking sync with Lightroom. You can do include selected photos. I just, I like having more of a manual and tedious process just to ensure that I have everything correct. I'm going to create that. We'll see in this folder, there's no photo selected because there are no photos in here, zero photos. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to actually click on any, any of the photos, then command A to select all of them. And then just going to drag and drop into that corresponding Lightroom sync folder. Now, what that should be doing is it should be syncing the photos now. And we'll see in the cloud icon here, if I click that, it is now syncing 179 photos. This is another thing too, I suppose. I was thinking or worried that I would need a ton of storage space. If you're on the one terabyte plan, that'll be more than enough. I don't think you'll ever, ever need more than, like right now, honestly, I don't think I ever used more than five gigs tops. 
because, and I'll show you with my workflow, I desync afterwards all the time because again, I'm just looking for that in-between process with the iPad Pro where I'm doing the editing on the iPad, not file management or long-term storage or needing to return to it. And even if I need to return to it after, I just repeat this step. It's kind of a pain, I suppose, waiting for the syncing, but it is what it is. I don't really mind that. So I've popped open Lightroom on the iPad Pro. Let's see if there's some settings that we need to do as well. Cloud storage and sync. So obviously with space, a lot of people recommend uh, only download smart previews. I didn't really like the reduced re resolution. And again, I'm not working with tons of files. So I did turn that off, but that's something maybe you want to turn on. I also selected prevent from sleep. So while charging the device, the setting prevents it from going to sleep to, erase, or to ease syncing. I do have that checked off. And I think that's really all I do for settings. I do see there's cached files, 1.18 gigabytes. I also see the option of clear cache or cache, cache. I haven't used it yet, haven't needed to, but maybe that'll change in the future. Here on the iPad, we do see some folders that have been synced. And you'll notice that when I go to my desktop collections from Lightroom, this little icon on the left, that means this is synced. So you see day 76, Lean Ladysmith, that is the first folder here, same thing. Everything from day 60 all the way to 75 is not showing up in Lightroom uh, mobile because I have not synced them, I've desynced them. And we'll go over how to do that. All right, so we're just gonna wait for the photos to sync. Uh, we can see a couple of them popping in here already. We'll just jump to when the sync is finished. The thing is uploaded now, all 189 photos are synced with Lightroom Mobile from Lightroom Classic. So the next thing I would do is just start editing. You can start editing either auto, blah, blah, blah. Make the changes, it's a fun experience, so on and so forth. Every time I make an edit, so let's make this one uh, black and white. If we hop back into Lightroom Classic now, so we can see within the collections, it hasn't changed yet. It's not black and white. Right now, it is uploading though, if we click on the cloud here. So one pending, 79%. And it says Smart Preview. So it's still using Smart Previews, which is annoying. So now it's syncing three photos. It's syncing all the edits that I just did on the iPad Pro. It says it's synced now. So let's see. No edits yet have synced over here. There we go. Okay, finally. So it is a bit slow in terms of the resyncing. Typically I do just open up Lightroom Classic and wait until everything has been synced up. I do think there was one instance where I started editing a photo. So for example, the second photo, we have these adjustments to the exposure from the iPad and the syncing. I think I had made new edits before it finished syncing and it deleted everything. So I had to re-edit a lot of photos because of that issue. I forgot the specifics as to why. So word of caution, be careful. And I want to quickly demonstrate here where the files are. So again, we're not in the initial import, the folders tab here. We're in collections under from Lightroom. If I click on this photo and show in Finder, it's in the original spot. So it's not going into any Lightroom CC folder or anything like that. It's just literally staying in the same spot, working off the, that original DNG. We can verify this again. Let's pop into the same folder, day 80. Everything has been synced. So I can even continue my edits here. And I think it does carry over. Let's, let's give it a test actually to black and white. All right. So I've edited this in the folders file. Let's see if it syncs over to here. And it does. So is this really weird? I don't know. <laughs> the specifics are like understanding why it happens or how it's happening. But everything that I do at the folder, original folder uh, level carries over to the synced album and it carries over to the iPad Pro. And that's the way I like it. So any changes I do on the iPad Pro as well, going to sync over to classic and we just keep going from there. Very simple. I just keep on continuing with the iPad. Oh, and we see the iPad Pro. This one synced really quickly from my desktop and now it's on the iPad. So I would just go through, edit everything. And then once it's done, I go back to classic. So we can see a folder that I have finished, the Lady Smith day two. I know everything on the iPad side of things is complete. I've exported all the files and I consider this done. So let me uncheck this sync with Lightroom. If I click this and click on stop syncing. So if you stop syncing, this collection will be removed from your other devices, but the photos will remain. These photos can be managed from all synced photographs. So I click on that and it clears up that space from my iPad and I can no longer see it 
on the iPad, Lightroom Mobile, Lightroom CC. Now in terms of all photos and all synced photos, I suppose it means yes, I can still edit everything here. And over time, I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen actually uh, with these local files. I'm a little bit unsure there. If any of you have ideas or uh, things to be aware of there, please let me know. Documents and data, 1.67 gigs. I don't know if I see it. I'm not entirely sure. When it gets full, I will have to test that out. I'm scared to do anything right now. Regardless, that is what I do. I stop syncing. And then that's that's the end of the workflow. It was very anticlimactic. And yeah, really simple, I suppose. So I just import my new folder that I'm going to work on. I create a mirror folder and from Lightroom, drag and drop, wait for it to sync, edit on the iPad, come back into the desktop and make final tweaks and export. And that's it. Rinse and repeat. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. I don't really, really understand the back end of all this. I just figured it out from trial and error and just trying it like the drag and drop thing wasn't really sure that that was going to work but here we are and it's working now that i'm creating this video yeah the only thing i'm not sure of is the the all synced photographs that it refers to when you click on desync or stop syncing with lightroom so we'll see what happens hope that helps let me know if you have any questions or suggestions